Hello again, welcome to a new video. In this video we have the master built charcoal grill barbecue. This cost £240 from Costco. Uh, as usual, if I can find this cheaper online elsewhere, I will. And I'll put some links in the description below for you. Um, I appreciate that everybody can use Costco since you need a business to have um, a membership card. So just check the description, I'll put some links in there if I can find it elsewhere, cheaper, or for the same price. Um, so yeah. Apparently, this has 527 square inches of cooking space. It can fit 6 pork ribs on there, 26 burgers, 38 sausages, 10 chickens, and... Uh, yeah. It's much bigger than the barbecue I have now, which is uh, a Weber. Uh, I think it's a 57 centimeter Weber actually. It's quite small, uh, but I've had it for over 10 years and um, it's been a good barbecue. I did want to get myself a new Weber barbecue, um, but for one, this size, it would have cost me a lot more. And yeah, I basically bought this on impulse. I saw it. Uh, in um, all set up in Costco and I like the look of it and I thought I'd get one and then in the queue there was actually a guy who said to me he's had one he's got the same one and it's been solid for two years um, but he has had it covered up and this doesn't come with a cover so I'm gonna have to buy a cover to go with it so just keep that in mind uh, so yeah, I'll just stop in the box So right away we're met with a bunch of bolts and screws. I should imagine this will be a lengthy job. And a very thick manual. And a little, little informational leaflet here. A few do's and don'ts. Uh, off camera, I'm just going to get it all out of the box and then we'll have a look. Actually, something I should mention is this is, is really heavy. And unless you're well built, which I'm not exactly poorly built, but this was heavy. Someone in the car park um, offered to help me to get it out of the trolley um, into the car, uh, which I was very grateful for. So if you're going to go get one of these and you're not particularly strong, um, actually, if, even if you are strong, you should probably take someone else with you for help you carry it. Because it, it is a bit awkward and a bit big to get in your arms. Just show you quickly. You open the box, you, it'd be easy if you just open the side of the box, fold that side down, and you can open this door, take a few bits out, such as these here, and all, it's all in there. You take it out of there. One thing I really dislike about packaging. Uh, with some companies and it's sellotaped. A lot of it is sellotaped together which really gets my goal and annoys the shit out of me. Um, but we'll crack on, get the rest of it out. Okay, so we've got it all unboxed. I'll be honest, that was quite hard work with all the sellotape and the annoying stuff. And overall, it does look like a daunting task because it's literally in bits. Um, let me start with this box. We're in this box with all the bits and bats. This you can control how high the coals are. There's some handles here for the, the, do the door at the front where the, I'm not sure, the waste tray or you can have more coals or what have you. Um, we have the thermometer and other bits and bats in here. The airflow controllers, things like that. Um, yes, yeah, so we have the chimneys, we have the outer shell, which is quite light compared to everything else actually. Um, we have the side trays, we have some big wheels, big strong wheels, and some very strong caster wheels. Um, we have the cooking grills, um, I think that's the correct terminology. I'm not sure if in America you call them grates, I might be wrong though. There's three of these, I'll show you how thick they are. 
Um, so yeah, we have the legs. Legs are colour coordinated, so you know where to put them. And these back bars are the same, they're, they're labelled. Um, so yeah, all in all, there's probably what, three, nine, ten, twelve, I don't know, twenty parts maybe, to put together. Chimney's the handle for the door. Or lid, should I say. Um, so yeah, we're going to look at the instructions now and have a go at building it. Probably won't be able to be able to do it inside because it'll be well, as heavy as it was in the box. I'll have to get out of them double doors there. So yeah, lots of cardboard, lots of polystyrene, a mess. But if you want to, want it to arrive or you know you don't want it to be damaged, then I suppose that's what they've got to do. Um, so yeah, I think we'll crack on my building it. So a couple of rubbish bags later. That's the polystyrene and all the rubbish. I burnt the cardboard in the fire pit. And there it is. It's a bit dark now so you can't see. Um, took me about three hours in a relaxed manner to build it uh, on my own. And I had something to eat in between. But if you've got somebody else to help you, it'd probably take you about an hour. Um, it was well, it was quite difficult to build by myself, but I managed it. Um, something to note, though, is that one of the little chimneys um, I dropped, and it's chipped the paintwork off it. On, on you might be able to see it now. I don't think. No, you can't see it. Chipped a bit of the paint off because I dropped it on the floor. And that's because they go on, there's three holes that you put your screws in. And there's a certain way of doing it. And I placed it on, put a screw in. And then when I realised that the, all the holes didn't match up, when I was taking the screw out, I dropped it. Um, which took a bit of the paint off the, uh, the rim at the bottom. Which will be a problem if... Um, it gets wet, which hopefully it doesn't rain tonight because I haven't got a cover for it yet. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think during the year, um, the first part of the build, building the legs, uh, you leave the screws loose that way as you're building it up, it all comes together. Um, but yeah, other than that, it was quite easy for build. Um, Trying to think of something else. Was there something else? No, I don't think so. I'll um, come back again in the morning in the daylight and I'll we'll have a look over it. I've not tightened all the screws up yet. Um, I'll do that in the morning and then um, come back. So it's been about a week and I've had a couple of barbecues. As you can see, the used coals are there. With all the ash underneath in the tray, we just open that up. You see it all the all the dripping from the meat. This is the lever that helps you raise or lower the coals. And we put the grates down. You can see it close. That is. So you can see your meat, and then lower it down to finish the cooking. You can see the vents here. We'll leave them open. And the tray just pulls out. You can tip that into the bin or wherever you want to put it. And then put the tray back in. Just close the lid. The temperature gauge works as it should. And you want to leave these open on the chimneys while you're cooking. Um, that's what I want to show you is I left it out uncovered and bits of rust have started appearing I'll have to rub them I'll rub this down with some vegetable fat and then turn the bar get the barbecue heated up for a couple of hours and hopefully that will help take care of it um, but yeah overall great barbecue 
um, cooked um, chicken and all sorts on it this week. Something that I need to mention is that um, the tray that you place the coals on, if you're using lump wood, um, the gaps um, between the bars are quite wide and the lump wood, even before it's, it's barely got lit, is, it will fall through, uh, which is a problem. So either you can find yourself some sort of metal grill or something that can sit over the bars creating smaller gaps or you can just stick to the briquettes the briquettes are fine they don't fall through um, but the lump wood does and it is a bit of a problem um, I wasted three bags actually um, trying to keep the temperature in the barbecue because they just kept falling through um, yeah something else to note as well on the grates the handle while you're cooking does get hot so keep that in mind But yeah, overall, it is a, a very good barbecue. It's very strong, very sturdy. The wheels are very solid. Um, but please do, if you're gonna buy one, buy a cover to go with it. Like I said, I left this out in the rain for a bit and there was bits of rust forming. Um, so the grates themselves, the grill, whatever you call it, uh, they're cast iron. And the door on the front with the two handles, I believe that is as well. Uh, and I think that's why it was started to rust up. Um, but according to the manual, I think you rub some vegetable fat on the grates and the front bit, uh, the door, and get your barbecue started for an hour or two. Just let it let it burn out, and apparently that prevents rust. Now I've, I've never had a barbecue like this before, so I don't have any experience with it. I usually use um, a Weber. Um, so yeah. But yeah, I had a few cooks on it. We had family around, we had a barbecue, we had chicken and burgers and all sorts of things. I did fit quite a lot on it actually, I was surprised. Um, but yeah, I think that covers everything. Um, like I said, there'll be links in the description below um, and information. And if I can find an online manual for this, I will if you want to have a look through it. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.